So in this section, we'll continue to discuss second-generation antipsychotic LAIs in clinical practice, focusing on paliperidone and risperidone. There are multiple formulations of paliperidone palmitate. We'll begin by talking about Invega Sistena, the first form. The typical starting dose for Invega Sistena is 234 milligrams given on day one, and then 156 milligrams given on day eight by deltoid injection. In contrast to other agents, oral supplementation is not required, and the typical maintenance doses for Invega Sistena are 39, 78, 117, 156, or 234 milligrams given every four weeks by deltoid or gluteal injection. In terms of dose equivalency, three milligrams of oral paliperidone corresponds to between 39 and 78 milligrams of the LAI. Six milligrams oral corresponds to 117 milligrams of the LAI. Nine milligrams corresponds to 156 milligrams of the LAI and 12 milligrams oral corresponds to 234 milligrams of the LAI, all given every four weeks. If a patient has a delayed or missed dose of at least six weeks, they can be given their maintenance dose on day one. If the delay or the missed dose is greater than six months, then the patient should be reloaded as per the package insert. The next formulation of paliperidone palmitate is in Vega Trinza. Typical starting doses for Trinza are 273, 410, 546, or 819 milligrams. This agent would be used in patients who have already been treated with the monthly formulation in Vega Sistena, and the typical maintenance doses are the same as the starting doses 273, 410, 546 or 819 milligrams. In terms of dose equivalence, patients who are getting 78 milligrams of Sistena per month should receive 273 milligrams of Trinza every three months. 117 milligrams of Sistena corresponds to 410 milligrams of Trinza. 156 milligrams of Sistena corresponds to 546 milligrams of Trinza and 234 milligrams of Sistena corresponds to 819 milligrams of Trinza, again, which is given every three months. What happens if patients miss doses? If the delay is less than four months, they should be administered their last dose of Trinza. If the missed dose period is between four and nine months, they should be reinitiated with Invega Sistena. And if the delay is greater than nine months, they should be reloaded with Envega Sistena. And then our final paliperidone palmitate formulation is Envega Half Era, which is an every six month formulation. The typical starting doses for Envega Half Era are 1092 and 1560 milligrams every six months given by gluteal injection. This agent would be used in patients who are already treated with either. In Vega Sistena or in Vega Trinza. Again, the starting doses and the maintenance doses are the same 1092 or 1560 milligrams every six months. What are the dose equivalents here? Well, if we're talking about in Vega Sistena, 156 milligrams per month of Sistena corresponds to 1092 milligrams of half era and 234 milligrams per month of Sistena corresponds to 1560 milligrams of half era. Importantly, there are no equivalent doses for the lower doses of Envega Sistena, namely 39, 78, or 117 milligrams monthly. What about conversion dose equivalents between Envega Trinza and half era? 546 milligrams of Trinza corresponds to 1092 of half era, and 819 milligrams of Trinza corresponds to 1560 milligrams of half era. 
And similarly, there are no equivalent doses for the lower doses of Trinza, namely the 273 or 410 milligram doses of Trinza. If a delay in injection is between one to three weeks, the usual dose of half year can be given. By contrast, we would want to restart in Vega Sustena with two initiation doses if the patient is delayed by at least four weeks or more for their half year injection. Now we'll talk about two different formulations of risperidone. The first is risperidone or Perseris. The typical starting dose for Perseris is 90 or 120 milligrams injected subcutaneously every month. The injection is either in the abdomen or in the back of the upper arm. Oral supplementation is not required. The typical maintenance dose is the same as the starting dose, 90 to 120 milligrams monthly. When it comes to dose equivalents, 3 milligrams daily of oral risperidone corresponds to 90 milligrams monthly of Perseris. 4 milligrams daily of oral risperidone corresponds to 120 milligrams monthly of Perseris. Other stable doses of oral risperidone may not be candidates for Perseris based on the dose equivalence information. And if a patient is delayed, they should be given their next dose of Perseris whenever they present to the clinic. Our other formulation is risperidone microspheres or risperidol consta. The typical starting dose for Risperdal consta would be either 12.5, 25, most commonly 37.5, or 50 milligrams given by deltoid or gluteal injection. Oral supplementation is continued for 21 days. And the typical maintenance dose for Risperdal consta is 12.5 to 50 milligrams given every two weeks. In terms of dose equivalence, 2 milligrams per day of oral risperidone corresponds to 12.5 milligrams of consta. 4 milligrams a day oral corresponds to 25 milligrams consta. 6 milligrams a day oral risperidone corresponds to 37.5 milligrams of consta. And 8 milligrams a day of oral risperidone corresponds to 50 milligrams of consta, again, all given every two weeks. If a patient misses a dose, for more than two weeks, consider giving oral supplementation for six weeks after restarting. So as kind of a summary reference here, one of the important aspects of initiation is how long do I continue the oral antipsychotic medication after initiation of an LAI antipsychotic? Importantly, both paliperidone palmitate monthly and risperidone Perseris do not require any oral supplementation. For haloperidol, oral supplementation would be continued for 28 days. And for flufenazine and the aripiprazole formulations and olanzapine, oral supplementation would be continued for 14 to 21 days. So key points for this section for palate peridone palmitate, typical starting dose, 234 milligrams on day one, 156 milligrams on day eight, given as a deltoid injection, oral supplementation not required, and the typical maintenance dosing is between 39 and 234 milligrams every four weeks. Every three month, that's Trinza, and every six month, that's half year of formulations are also available for paliperidone palmitate. For risperidone perseris, the typical starting and maintenance dose is between 90 and 125 milligrams monthly, given in the abdomen or back of the upper arm. Oral supplementation is not required. And for risperidone microspheres or risperidol consta, the typical starting dose is 12.5 to 50 milligrams given in the deltoid or gluteal muscle. Oral supplementation is continued for 21 days, and the typical maintenance dose is 12.5 to 50 milligrams every two weeks. 